Listen, we're all fans of cute little conspiracy theories. Moon landing, etc. This QAnon stuff, this needs to be stopped. Dies in your house. Hey, yo, who's in the house, dies in your house. What is the word, peeps? What goes on? It is Friday, and we are back with another action-packed edition of Dies in Your House. This is what used to be the pre-show, the post-show, the prelude to the weekly Jay Parks podcast that comes to you on Monday. But we're going to filibuster for a second because I want to explain a couple of things. Let me just turn the mic back towards me here. So, you know, Least Coast Radio for the Least Heard Voices. You go subscribe on iTunes. You smash that subscribe button on Twitter. All of that. And you get weekly episodes of Dies in Your House plus many, many more things coming to you. And I'll explain that right now. I was down in the slums of South Jersey this weekend with my girlfriend, and usually when I'm hanging out with my girlfriend for a couple of days at a time, the only news that I'm privy to is the, like, the alerts on my phone, and maybe I'll get, like, an hour of Morning Joe in, because to be honest, like, as much, you know, as much as corruption is happening, sometimes you need to take a day, or you need to take a couple days and just take a break. Now, that's totally different from... People who say, oh, well, it's too much politics, I, I, I don't even pay attention to it anymore. No, that's ignorant and dangerous, and you can't do that. But if you need to take a break for your brain to recharge, that's acceptable. 
And you're going to need to take a break after I tell you about what we're talking about now. So, usually, dies in your house on Friday, Jay Pork's podcast on Monday. That's usually how it works. With This week, we had the Manafort trial. We had Maria Butina just breaking uh, Friday, Thursday night. We had more Maria Butina stuff. She was working for Michael McFall. Paul Manafort's got a $15,000 ostrich coat. All this stuff. But I'm not... That's all Monday. We have a lot of... Which which is leading me to... To think... There's no way... That I can only have... Two podcasts a week. There's gonna be a third. So what I would suggest you do... Right now... Is subscribe to Least Coast Radio on iTunes. And let me give you... I'll tell you a little secret. A little... A little spoiler. If you do that... If you subscribe to Least Coast Radio on iTunes... You will get the Jay Parks podcast on Sunday. You will get it a day early. That's right. There you go. I just put that out there. That's some incentive. And if you go to patreon.com forward slash Jay Parks and sign up and become a Least Coast Radiohead and pledge, you will get so much bonus content you won't know what to do with it. I'm talking you'll... There'll be opportunities... To see video of me recording the podcast, behind the scenes stuff, my prep work, what I do, how I prepare for these things. You will get personalized artwork. You will get phone calls with me. You will get to put in, you will get to have input on what we talk about on the podcast. All of that stuff. If you go to patreon.com forward slash jporks and pledge and become a least coast radio head. There are three tiers. So you take a look at them, let me know what I'm doing wrong, hit me up and I will fix it. And it, you know, it's just, it's Least Coast Radio for the Least Heard Voices. And we're just, we're just trying to grow this. This just needs to grow and it is going to grow. And you know what? I mean, I was telling, I was telling a friend of mine, one of my best friends who, you know, nowadays we're not really like, we disagree totally on politics. And since we're, like, best friends, it's hard not to, like, talk about that stuff. So we, like, barely talk. But, like, we're we're the same in terms of, like, alright, so he writes rhymes, right? And he's, like, a rapper. Like, not not like a rapper, but, like, you know, he's a rapper like I'm a podcaster. Whereas, you know, probably three people are listening to this right now. You know what I'm saying? But those three people are my friends, and I appreciate that. But I'm not doing this... Only for the sole purpose of entertaining a handful of people every week. I'm doing this so there's a record. So when all of this stuff hits the fan, which it's constantly been hitting the fan and then the fan doesn't affect it. When, you know, I want, because eventually, because I'm doing things that are so awesome that eventually someone else is going to notice. And that's my view on things. Life is too freaking depressing to be depressed about the one thing I enjoy doing, and that's coming on the podcast and talking to you guys about what's acting directly to you, filtering down all the news, all the distractions, and I'm giving you what's important here on Least Coast Radio and on the Dara Podcast Network every Monday. You get the J Parks Podcast. And if you listened last Monday, we had over 100 minutes. And this week, I have a feeling we're going to have more than 100 minutes. So if you haven't heard Access Haberman, it's on Least Coast Radio right now, hour and 40 minutes. Check it out. But today, oh boy, let me take another sip of coffee for this. All right. QAnon, man. I said it at the top. We're all, we're all fans of conspiracy theories, right? It's cool. It's cool to look at you go down the YouTube rabbit hole of us never landing on the moon. It's cool to watch every JFK documentary. You know, it it's cool. It's fun to talk about. But at the same time, it's always I mean, it's usually a wink and a nod. Like almost the same as like the Courtney Love Kurt Cobain thing. Like, you know, she hired someone to kill him, which is utterly ridiculous because she can't figure out how to pass a drug test to stay out out of probation she can't pass a drug test to keep her children when they when her when a kid gets taken away but somehow she made some elaborate scheme to kill the voice of a generation but anyhow 
QAnon. It's a conspiracy theory that started on Reddit and 4chan, which automatically tells you where we are in life. So basically, and the only reason that this is that we're talking about this this week is because these Trump rallies have become hotbeds for hate speech and rot inciting riots. And that's what it is. You look at these rallies. You look at the baskets of deplorables that show up at these places. And you can't even tell me. You can't even tell me that this is something. Oh, well, Jay, listen there. You know, they support the guy. So let's explain what QAnon is. Now, follow me here. It's, it's, it's not that complicated, but it seems very contrived. It seems very, it seems... Not contrived. It seems very... Well, it is contrived. But it seems very... You know, like, I'll tell you about it and you'll say, What are you talking about? Okay. So, basically, what we have... So, you know how there's a Robert Mueller investigation? You know how that's going on? So, Robert Mueller is... Is on his... Is on... Is investigating collusion, conspiracy against the United States, Russian meddling, and the... Anything that that comes out of investigations into the Trump campaign and Russia. Interference, hacking, coordination, conspiracy against the United States, and election law violations and such like that. The spreading of disinformation by Russians by was key in swaying public opinion about a number of things, a number of American issues in 2016, whether that's Black Lives Matter, matter, whether that's, you know, Antifa, anti, anti-Semitic stuff. So it's very... Russian active measures were mostly about inciting feelings, stirring the pot is what they call it, you know, stirring the shit with Americans on divisive issues, right? So Mueller is investigating all of that. And that's what, and Russia was, you know, disinformation has been being, has been going on for years. Something Russia does just with the advent of Facebook and social media, they were able to actually, it was more of a successful campaign as it has been in the past. So you have that. But now in 20, I want to say 2017. This is around the time, do you recall the calm before the storm comment? Trump is standing with the generals and he says this is like the calm before the storm. And a reporter says, what, is, what do you mean by that? And he says, you'll see. From that, an anonymous person named Q began to represent themselves in Reddit threads and 4chan threads. And they, Q is allegedly an intelligence, an anonymous intelligence operative or military intelligence, works in the government and has given us the, quote, real story about Trump Russia. Are you ready? Oh, well, well, first, let's preference by, do you remember a couple of, like a year ago or a couple of months ago? Roseanne tweeted that Trump freed a bunch of child sex slaves from human trafficking. Yeah, that's a QAnon thing, because we all read that like, what are you talking about? That's QAnon. So, the basis of QAnon is that the Mueller probe is not actually investigating Trump. That they are, wait for it. Working with Trump, so it's Mueller and Trump on the same team, and they're digging for the real collusion. And that was, of course, between Hillary Clinton, Bill Browder, and all that stuff having to do with Russia. The real collusion. The real story. And it's the Democrats' collusion with Russians. You might say, Jay, that's crazy. It's not done. You thought that was it? So, where we go one, we go all, is their moniker. 
So everything that is happening right now, Robert Mueller is really working with Trump to take down the deep state. Okay? So Mueller and Trump working together to get to the bottom of what this of what this real collusion is. And that of course was with Hillary Clinton. Now that's nuts. But this is also this is this from the from the artist that brought you Pizzagate and you know email gate and Podesta gate, you know? I mean it's just <laughs> But the diff the thing is is that <clears throat> When Russians spread dif disinformation on the internet, like, you can tell that they're Russians because their their English isn't good. They're not cursing in the correct way, like, it's in the wrong spot of the sentence. Like, you can tell they put Russian into Google Translate and just took it straight. And, you know, anyone who's tried to translate something like in Spanish or any other language with Google Translate, you'll see that, you know, it'll give you, instead of saying the dog is, b the dog is brown, It'll say the brown is dog or something like that. It'll be weird. So basically, so basically, this is all just some deep state conspiracy, and that's why, that's why Trump surrounds himself with quote all the generals because he's getting ready to take over from the deep state freaking swamp thing are you following are you following this they're also QAnon so you know listen if you want to be in the shadowy corners of the internet with your conspiracy theories that's one thing but there was a Trump rally in Tampa the other day and this is where it gets dangerous guys it's dangerous because I've been saying for like a couple of months now that when you see Trump support on Facebook, you have to report it as hate speech. When you see Trump support on Twitter, you have to report it as hate. And I'm not talking about support of, of tax policies and, like, if you're a rich white guy, the rich are getting richer. You know, whatever. But, like, if you support Trump supporting, like, Charlottesville, both sides, you know, stuff like that, then what... You... That's one thing to to keep that in the shadowy corners of the internet. But at the Trump rally the other night, people are showing up with signs that say we are Q and Q shirts. And they're, they're screaming at Jim Acosta from CNN. And we'll get into more of Jim Acosta on Monday because he, he walked out of the press briefing saddened and disheartened the other day. And we're going to talk about that. But... So they chant at Jim Acosta, they boo him until he leaves. Like, and the inciting of violence, this is why you need to report it as hate speech, because it's hate speech, and it's gaslighting, and it's, it's, it might be only 30% of the country, but it's dangerous, man. It's really dangerous to have that sort of speech come from the shadowy depths of the internet and actually come into the real world. Like, there's nobody with a pop-up, you know, shop, a pop-up kiosk on the street or in the mall talking about, hey, come to, let me tell you how they faked the moon landing. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that's tongue-in-cheek that, you know, that we just watch the YouTube videos of. And, we, you know, you don't bring it out there. Now, another, uh, the other dangerous thing is it's one thing to have conspiracy theories backing, conspiracy theorists and whack jobs backing you. But to feed into it is, like, pouring gasoline on the act of gaslighting. It's like shining a light and gas on the gaslighting. And the only reason I'm talking about this is because sunlight is the best disinfectant for all of this. We need to shed a light on this. So Trump at the rally, where all the Q signs are, says, before I came to Washington, I had only been here a couple of times. Probably... 17 times and you know what I'm getting at Sounds like a simple statement But really it's a nod because Q is the 17th letter in the alphabet so You have the guy occupying the Oval Office is 
feeding into the conspiracy theories and actually giving them like a wink and a nod like, yup, I'm with you. What is going on with our society? Where we go one, we go all. The deep state plot. How long has this been going on? Anybody that talks deep state can't tell me how long it's been going on. They don't have any ideas. And it's just crazy. And guys, it's crazy and those people are crazy. But if we don't get out there and vote, like, you can't think of this as the Hillary Clinton thing where, you know, she's gonna win so she doesn't, you know, I don't need to go out and vote. She's gonna win. Like, she's gonna be the president. That's her whole career. That's what it led up to. So, I mean, it's not a done deal like that was. Remember when that was a done deal and it wasn't? Sames. Sames right here. You you look on TV and Chris Hayes broke it down and John Heilman broke it down and covered QAnon and and like how crazy it is and how nutso it is. But you can't sit there and say, oh, that's so nutso that I don't have to worry about that because no one's actually going to believe that those things are real. But they are. Not they are real. They are actually gr the, the, the people who believe in this crap are growing. And those people, if they're going to signs, if they're going to cra uh, to Trump rallies, holding up we are Q signs, I mean, you have to ask yourself, you know they're going to go vote. And that makes voting more important in 2018. We have to vote people out that are on board with conspiracy theorists with the craziest of things. And the QAnon thing also talks about globalists. And when you say the word globalists, let me just stop the music for a second. Globalists, when you talk about the globalist agenda, what that really means is the Jewish agenda. Because the Jew, there's a perception that Jewish people run the financial banks, the world, you know, and globalization is a Jewish thing. So if you're anti-globalism, you are anti-Semite, okay? It's just another word for it. Just like white nationalist is another way to say Nazi, is another way to say Klansman, okay? So, please already. You can't, you can't actually, you can't ignore it. You can't say, you know what, that's so stupid that, you know, there's always going to be the lunatic fringe of the population. You can't actually get hung up on that because that's not going anywhere. It's like the moon landing. But guys, it got to the Trump rally and it's going to get to the polls. So it's very, it's more important than ever that we as a country focus on November and voting blue to save America. It's the only thing to do. Don't look at any polls. Don't look at polls. Don't look at pollings. Don't look at opinions. Just go. Take a friend. And you have to go vote. We have to vote for people. That are going to hold. The government accountable. For the things they are doing. Okay. Quick preview really fast. On Monday. The Jay Porks podcast. Will feature. Paul Manafort trial. Latest in Maria Butina. Latest in Michael Cohen. Latest in Rudy Giuliani. We have a lot to get to on Monday. Or. If you subscribe to Least Coast Radio, you can get to it on Sunday. Jay Porks dies in your house. Representing Staten Island. Hey yo, Jay Porks here, back to record my own commercials. And here's the deal: you may have heard me complaining on today's podcast or a previous podcast about suffering through a summer of unemployment. Well, we have a we have a fix for that and it is called Patreon. That's right. 
Least Coast Radio now has a Patreon page. And all you need to do is go to patreon.com slash jporks. And there are three tiers that you can subscribe to. Three tiers you can join to become a member of Least Coast Radio, of the, of the Least Coast Radio community, of Porks Nation. You'll even have a chance to pick the name and all that stuff. And we are talking, we are not offering just thank yous and shout outs, we got bonus content. There is even a tier where you are able to talk to me on the phone every week. And we will go over what is happening in our country. And you can personally talk to me, Jay Pork. Personal interactions. There's a tier where there's a group. You can join a group and we could, it, you could affect where the podcast goes that week. I need a community. I need help. Not necessarily money, but I need people to be helping me out. So therefore, that's why I created a Least Coast Radio Patreon. Not to be confused with a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter. This is not me with my hand out. I have bonus content. Bonus, bonus, bonus content to offer you. I have tons of it. I have tons of time, and I want to give it to you. All you need to do is join Join us on Patreon. Become a Patreon. Patreon.com slash jporks. Look for the Least Coast Radio Patreon page. You'll see me. You'll see me in, with a microphone and dies in my house. Dies in your house next to the name. You'll see that. So just go hit us on Patreon. You will get a thank you. I will, res- I will know that and you will get on. You will have a lot to do with what goes down on the Jporks podcast and everything. Concerned with Least Coast Radio. It's going to be a big year for us. 2018. Let's get it done.